Hi, I have a real important message about Home Depot. This kind of stuff, this kind of crap is really the reason why I can't continue doing comedy on YouTube because there's just too many stressors to uh, to try to be, to try to create, to be, try to be that creative. Um, I wrote this letter to Home Depot's complaint uh, on their, they have an 800 number in case you're interested where you don't have to deal with store people, which I tried to do anyway, and they're not calling me back, and I've done on numerous occasions, and it's, uh, it doesn't really get too far. Uh, before I give you the detail, this is the letter, before I give you the detail, you should know that I graduated summa cum laude from the blank, 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 and I was the top of the class. I am totally disabled now, and usually take advantage of your riding wheelchairs. The work I do in the garden should be considered therapy and helps me uh, keep what little strength I do have at a level which might be considered a life if I did not have so many bullies in my nightmare of an existence like the one described below. For the third time on 8-29-13, I had an incident with John who was working in the lumber department at your store and I gave the address, number, and phone at 1.30 p.m. Before that day, I was searching for supplies for a garden project, and I was advised that I would be able to get a couple of cuts on a 4x8 romanized piece of lattice. They would have been a lot easier to handle, and believe me, I appreciate any currency help I can get. I have absolutely no help around the house, and my ex and I built together in the 80s, and it is very difficult to maintain, let alone finish it, which I've been trying to do since I learned how to manage my illness as well as possible. Anyway, after I picked out my lattice on 829.13, John was called to do the cutting, and when he got to me, he said that he couldn't do it because the staples ripped up the saw. Well, I got it home myself and did the cuts this past couple of days. My little seven, I hyphenated all this, my little seven inch, 30 year old saw that built this house and was left behind by my ex because it isn't that good, it, good, unhyphenated, cut through the staples and lattice easily with no buckling. So he, John, blatantly lied to dupe me out of the help and win the so-called <coughs> game so many of your people play with me. I have complained numerous times about similar behavior and worse, including a lewd and lascivious remark, in fact, complaining about situations like this for the first time in my life I started doing when I became totally disabled and had and was sitting around the house for the first time because I didn't have time when I worked it was too stressful but anyway I have complained numerous times about similar behavior and worse including a lewd and lascivious remark made by Rick the master plumber a couple of years ago quote oh I guess I'm gonna get wet unquote where John also worked previously in that department. I had run in with John in the plumbing department after that Rick denigration and another sometime after that. On the first occasion, John kept contradicting the info he was giving me on a certain product in a very snaky and semantic fashion. He is a very intelligent he is very intelligent and devotes a lot of time to duping gimps using the so-called game as a crutch for his survival of the fittest bullshit, which is all just a bourgeois whitewash for how slavery is kept alive in this fucking country. The thousands of experiences I, I have had like this from my places of employment, your stores, and hundreds of others took their final toll on me in 1991 when I became totally unable to work because the stress of the work environment is exponentialized by this treatment at least tenfold for somebody like me. I could have kept working if it were not for this kind of treatment. I believe, well, I better put for someone like me in there. It's probably not like that for healthy people. I'm getting, I'm getting lightheaded just from reading this. I could have kept working if it were not for this kind of treatment. I believe people should help each other and compete, not eliminate each other, which eliminates competition and community and personal spirit. Unfortunately for people like John, I put so much into my personal spirit in the beginning, it cannot be broken. 
which is why I'm able to continue regardless of the community mores built around this so-called game. Most people would have killed themselves in my position. I am totally alone and have no friends because I refuse to join the many offers of backstabbing clicks. Or the only other alternative I have been offered in life being a flat-out whore for an establishment at the university's uh, downtown area where I went to school of town, which I was offered in my last job while I was in severe physical decline. This is how sick the people are that they send my way. I was in severe physical, physical decline and they had an offer for being a whore. Okay? There is no other race than with rats from my experience. Thumbs off to my freaking... To, thumbs off my nose to John and everybody like him. God is an evil asshole and John and everybody like him is God's gift to the universe. They are right. They are God's gift to the universe because God is a complete asshole. I am going to publish this, this on YouTube. I hope people would uh, really take this seriously. I think this is the exact kind of thing that happens to the people that are going around shooting up the town and pull out all these guns and shoot up malls. Um, I don't know why I haven't. But like I said, I put a lot into my... Um, I put a lot into my personal spirit <laughs> from when I was a very young, I was always unconventional, I was always uh, uh, unpopular, um, even in, I was in like the, <laughs> I sort of had groups that I was in in school, but uh, you know, uh, the leader of that group had a bad itch for me too just because I, uh, she was under the impression that I wouldn't uh, try to get her a date with my brother. And she screwed me from then on out. So, I mean, I was even screwed by my, but I kept my head up and I pretended like I was still in the group. I didn't get into that. I'm going to shoot up the town. I kept fighting, but not everybody's like me. And there's going to be a lot more people that aren't like me. Believe me. Um, not everybody can keep their personal spirit up that way, and they turn to drug and drugs and alcohol. I did this too, but I got out of it because maybe, I don't know, maybe it was my experience with the national parks. That is the only thing I ever have ever, ever had is Mother Nature, and I still hold on to that, and that's why I'm out in the garden, and that's the only thing that keeps me alive. Regardless of how the whole community has tried to get me out of the garden, I'm still there, and I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to improve my property as much as you can. I don't care who it makes look like shit. And that is, this is it, and <laughs> to the community.